So the Feathers project came from earlier work that I'd done that combined bimanual therapy and robotics. So for Feathers, what we added to those two components was actually to build a motivating environment for people who are undergoing therapy to really want to continue on. So one of the goals of the Feathers Project is to create engaging and motivating environments through the use of video games and motion controllers that will allow patients to practice um, rehabilitation relevant movements in the context of those games. So a major issue facing patients in therapy today is just sort of the accessibility to therapy and the amount of therapy that they can actually receive in the traditional rehabilitation context. And from neuroscientific and neurophysiological studies of rehabilitation, we know that the required dosage of therapy to actually start to show improvement and neuroplastic change in the brain is huge. So we want to try and basically do anything we can to give patients extra opportunity to practice these movements in, in some context. And so by designing gaming supplements to therapy that allows patients to have a positive environment in which they're rewarded for their improvement, they get feedback about their improvement, and then they're motivated to come back and, and try again. We are hoping to benefit um, both children and adults with hemiplegia. So with hemiplegia, we do see a weakness on one side of the body. And in addition to the actual strength impairments, um, we find impairments in their coordination or their motor control. So one of the um, largest challenges for uh, people that have hem hemiplegia is using um, both sides of their body together. Um, so we often see them neglecting the side of um, their body that is weaker and finding new and innovative ways to use just their, their one side of the body, um, but potentially we would like them to be able to use both sides of their body together in, in functional activities like opening a jar, opening a door, um, putting on their clothes, um, getting in and out of a, of a bathtub. Um, so with the Feathers Project, um, we are looking at finding motivating ways using social media, using gaming systems um, that helps them to focus on using their two hands together. From an engineering point of view, um, we have two challenges. The first challenge is to be able to track the person in, uh, in the 3D space as they do the task, as they move their arms around, and then map this physical motion to a cursor motion on the screen of the computer or the laptop and then uh, basically enable them to play Facebook games or whatever the game they want to play uh, using their bodies uh, instead of just using a uh, mouse. Then the second challenge would be uh, looking at the, at the way the person is moving their body in the space and then somehow interpret that into something that is clinically meaningful. We are writing our own software so that we can take the motions from two hands and channel those into one cursor or the control of one object in a Facebook game. And at the same time, our software is recording performance of the motions that you do, so how smooth, how, uh, what is the range of motion of your motions, and collapsing those down into performance metrics. And the third thing is that the software will also be able to provide physical feedback to you uh, touch feedback through the robotics, either a wearable system or a system that you are holding. So the other part of the software is the social media software so that the performance metrics um, can be combined with the metrics from the game and those can be communicated from the patient who is working at home to the therapist back in the clinic. There have been a lot of previous work on augmented reality, including you know, virtual reality, exercise robotics, and rehabilitation. Um, that shows reliable advantages and you know, fairly significant advantages over you know, conventional methods of therapy. And, and part of the reason for that is you can actually deliver additional feedback about the patient's performance in the virtual environment that they might not otherwise have access to. Uh, part of the reason for that advantage might also just be that you are in a more engaging, more motivating environment. And that has the potential to not only increase the quantity of practice that you receive, but also the quality of practice. So even though you're doing the same amount of practice, by doing it in a motivated environment, right, you actually get uh, bigger rewards for the time you spend in practice. So the long-term goal is to develop a product plus a service so that a person who is weak on one side can um, practice for a long time, every day, a certain number of hours in the home. And uh, the idea is that you would 
get these consumer electronic devices, you would get our software, you would install it. The, with the therapist, you would set up the gaming environment, you would set up the communication, and then this product would allow there to be future communication between the patient and the therapist for as long as you wanted to.